the gut contains trillions of tiny living things called microbes consisting of bacteria, viruses and fungi that lives in harmony. Hi everyone, welcome to Ask Me Doctor Season 2, a video series for you parents to learn more about your children's health. I'm Hazel from motherhood.com.my Have you heard of a saying that diseases come from our gut? Our gut contains trillions of bacteria which helps to digest our food and also are important for our well-being. I'm very sure that a lot of you have heard about this. Probiotics help to boost our immune system. But how are these two related? Today, we'll speak to Dr. Joanne Raja, pediatrician from ABC Children's Specialist Clinic to help us to understand these two well. Hello, Dr. Joanne. Hi there, Hazel, once again. Thank you for coming. You're most welcome. Let's go right into our first question. What is the correlation between probiotic, immune system and gut health? Now, not many people know this, but the gut is one of the largest immune organs in the body. The gut contains trillions of tiny living things called microbes, consisting of bacteria, viruses and fungi that lives in harmony. Probiotics refer to friendly and helpful bacteria in the gut that helps to maintain gut health and boost the immune system. Sometimes there can be imbalances between microbes leading to diarrhea and other health-related diseases. So how do these friendly and helpful bacteria help to support our immune system? Probiotics support the immune system in various ways. They help to strengthen the gut barrier, thus reducing the risk of invasion by bacteria leading to infection. On top of that, probiotics also activate and enhance the immune system by boosting immune cells like T lymphocytes, producing antibodies, and antibacterial substances upon sensing invaders. So besides supporting our immune system, what are the other uses of probiotics? One of the widely um, known benefits of probiotics is that it helps prevent or reduce diarrhea severity. For example, do you know that one of the common side effects of antibiotics would be diarrhea? Giving uh, probiotics preemptively does reduce the risk of antibiotic associated diarrhea. Besides that, recent research has also shown that probiotics may help to improve mental ailments such as depression and anxiety. Probiotics may also reduce certain allergies, for example, eczema. However, there are much research that is needed regarding this. We need it after antibiotic, or can I take it during when I take antibiotic? So, usually, probiotics should be given when antibiotics are being prescribed. However, you should not consume both together. So there should be a gap of at least about one to two hours between both. I see. So well, it's, that's why sometimes a uh, doctor, after our antibiotic finish, he will give us probiotic because it is to prevent the diarrhea that happened. Yes, correct. It's to repopulate the gut once again with good and friendly bacteria to prevent basically um, diarrhea. Uh, our next question, how much probiotic that we need to help to strengthen our immune system? What is the recommended daily dosage? Typically, dosages will vary based on products. However, the common dosages range from 5 to 10 billion colony forming units for children and double the amount in adults. But um, will you be able to share more with us what are the source of food that we can get this probiotic? Naturally occurring probiotics are present in foods such as sauerkraut, tempeh, kimchi, pickles, miso, kombucha, some types of cheese and buttermilk, yogurt which includes cultured milk drinks. Yeah? And taking these foods regularly will help to stimulate the immune system. So now I'm ready to get more probiotics in my diet, but there's so many products in the market that says they contain probiotics. What are things that I can look for when I look for a good probiotic? Yeah, so you're right, and there are various probiotics available in the market consisting of different strains. However, one of the commonly used probiotics would be lactobacillus species, in particular lactobacillus acidophilus and lactobacillus paracaceae. In addition to giving my child's probiotic, what else can I do to improve my child's immunity? That's a very good question and I'm sure a lot of parents would want to know that. Every child should have a well-balanced diet, rich in micronutrients such as vitamin C, D, E, iron, zinc, selenium and many more. Keeping children active and getting adequate sleep at night is also vital to support the immune system. But saying that, it's also crucial to maintain a healthy gut. That's wonderful, thank you very much. Before we close this, is there anything you would like to add, Dr. Joanne? 
Probiotics can help and boost a child's immune system. However, before buying any probiotic supplements for your child, it would be a good idea to talk to your doctor. Probiotic supplements need to be tailored to individual needs to get the maximum benefits. And also not to forget the list of the delicious food that we mentioned just now contains very good source of probiotic. Thank you, Dr. Joanne, for answering our questions today. You're most welcome. Vitagen is sponsoring 10 lucky winners for one month supply of Vitagen. All you have to do is complete this sentence. Vitagen contains bacteria friends and share this post. For more videos about children's health, stay tuned on Ask Me Doctor. Thank you for staying through the video. This episode is brought to you by Vitagen, the cultured milk drink with probiotics that's clinically proven for a better gut. I'm Hazel. And I'm Dr. Joanne. This is motherhood.com.my. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.